My name is Raymond Laudusur. I'm a commercial fisherman and I live off the land. And I've been uh, on a land which I dearly love. I've seen many uh, changes out in the land, in the water, even on fish in my lifetime. The water really dropped because they're sucking up so much water away from the Athabasca River. And they're polluting our waters with all kinds of chemicals. It's coming right from at the edge of the Rockies. Everything is flowing down. And they're the ones that's getting really affected here. Now the changes on our fish is they're getting to be more deformed before. There were no, no deformness on the fish. We're catching walleye with uh, humbacks, pushed in faces, crooked tails on them. And the white fish have big lumps and the northern pike are starting to be deformed like the pickerel with crooked tails and humbacks. That never happened before, so there must be some kind of a deadly chemical that causes that. And we survive on those fish. We eat those fish daily. And we're losing so many people on cancer in this community the last few years, which never happened before. People used to die with old age and even our community. And now even young people are dying. When it's going to stop, you know? You no, know, our life's worth a hell of a lot more than any dollar sign. And it's very sad, you know, I see so many, so many of my friends getting so badly hurt by losing their, their loved ones. You know, I always point at the water. I always say the water is no good. Everything is getting destroyed. The animals are not as many as they used to be. The muskrats are pretty well all gone. The delta is drying up. We're finished. I don't think we have too much of a future for our young people. The way things look in Port Chippewan, unless there's something is done. And then the poor people like us in Port Chippewan, or what are we supposed to live on? You know, they take, take everything, destroy everything, and they don't put anything aside for us. And they're just going to leave a hell of a big desert out there, a hell of a mess at the end after when they're finished with it which I will, now, I will not see, but my grandchildren sure as hell are going to suffer. Once they totally destroy everything, what are we supposed to have? Nothing. You know, their way of life is getting this totally destroyed. It's finished.